Welcome friends. In the last video, we saw how we can restrict a branch with a uh, branch name pattern to be more secure and uh, make it mandatory to make a pull request before we can merge the code into the particular branch. So we saw uh, the settings into GitHub repository. And in this video, we will see this in a Bitbucket repository. So uh, I, I will not uh, review what is pull request again because we have gone through two times. And uh, if you are interested, uh, the previous and previous to previous video talks about what is a pull request in very detail. Now let's go to the settings in the Bitbucket repository. So I have opened our uh, Bitbucket repository with the name Git Concepts, which we are using in this tutorial. And uh, the user again needs to be in the admin panel of the repository so that he can access the repository settings. So once you open the repository into Bitbucket on the web browser, you will see a repository settings button. In the repository settings button, uh, you will see somewhere uh, branch permissions. So as you see, there is no branch permission right now, but you can create one. And again here, like GitHub repository, it is asking for a pattern by which it, it can filter the names of the branches. So once the branch name is uh, clear to Bitbucket, we can say that who has the right access. So currently nobody has the right access here. Merge via pull request, who can do it? Everybody, yeah. But nobody can write directly onto that branch. And in the similar fashion of GitHub, it is asking for how many approvals uh, is required are required before somebody can merge the change into the particular branch which will be decided by this rule so check at least one or maximum nine bitbucket is provided nine but i don't think nine approvals is a good thing but it it could be uh, in some cases uh, depends on case to case basis and uh, Similarly, there are more options we can uh, uh, check out. So we see some premium options there, which will be only available if we buy the premium plan on the Bitbucket. But what is uh, these two options? Reset approvals when the source branch is modified. So what happens when somebody, uh, we will see it, it in detail how it works, but uh, when somebody creates a pull request, and uh, suppose it requires five approvals and four people approve it and fifth one tells that okay you need to change this in the code and you changed it so if this option is activated what will happen all the four approvals will be gone so everybody needs to uh, verify the full change again then there is another option prevent a merge with unresolved merge checks so when you merge uh, the code uh, a branch into the master branch it is uh, very often that there will be merge conflict and we have seen what is a merge conflict and how to resolve it in our, our videos uh, if you want to check it out this is present in this youtube series please check it and uh, then there are options that uh, check that no changes are requested check for unresolved pull request task check that last commit for at least one successful build so if you are uh, using the atlassian uh, for the build uh, ecosystem also you can also check that code is building properly then only somebody will be able to commit it uh, uh, will be able to commit it but not merge it then i say save and you see that one rule is created for the master branch and uh, what we choose in the rule 
and this warning message is just uh, reminding that if you have a premium plan you have more flexibility to the rules so this is how we uh, restrict the particular branch and uh, nobody will be able to merge into this branch directly without a pull request if you like the video please like comment subscribe and share it with your friends happy getting thank you